Hello everyone, welcome back to this episode in which we're going to abuse the IRC service to elevate our privileges to the Yeta user. Let's get started. If you're interested in learning more about these techniques, if you are interested in pursuing an ethical hacker career, then I encourage you to head over to academy.thehackerish.com there you will find online courses that you can enroll to and just find a suitable course for you. It should give you a great start. Okay, we were able to create files using the Yeti user, if you recall from the previous video, by abusing the uh, backdoor. Now, instead of um, creating a file, what could be a elegant way to gain a shell using the user Yeta. Well, you could say we can do a reverse shell and yeah, we can do that. But I said elegant. Well, we need to just copy our um, authorized keys from the user mock to user Yeta. And then this way we can use our uh, private key or mock's private key to connect to that server using SSH as the user Yeta. So let's do that. I'm going to copy. Well, first of all, I want to see what's the content of the, the directory of this user, Yeta. I'm going to do that and redirect the traffic to temp and the hackerish file okay all right let's verify now cat temp hackerish permission denied oh yes because we don't have permissions because that's user because we are here as user mock we haven't elevated our privileges yet but the file has been created with the user yeta so what we can do here is append another command by changing the permissions to, yeah, let's do 777, why not? And now we should have full control on over that file. Okay, perfect. Let's see what it has. So the Yeta's home folder contains a folder called off server and then a bunch of files. But we don't see the .ssh uh, like we've found in, uh, in Mox user, okay? So what we can do is just create that file. So the first thing we need to do is maker uh, that would be the home directory of yeta dot ssh okay the next command would be to copy the content of the file home under home mark dot ssh authorized keys so that file we want to take it move it from there to the Yeta's home directory .ssh and put it there. And now, if everything goes well according to plan, we should simply SSH using our uh, ID RSA private key of mock to our CTF challenge but this time under the Yeta user. Drum rolls and yes, we got access to Yeta to the box as the Yeta user, which means that we, we have essentially elevated our privileges. So in the next video, we're going to enumerate the box once more using this user, newly acquired user, 
to see if we can elevate our privileges to root and gain full control on this box. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified when the video goes live. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.